The suspects in the World Trade Center bombing could possibly go to jail if they could be linked to a letter that claims responsibility for the explosion. Tim Menton is live with more on what could turn out to be a vital piece of evidence in this case. Tim? Greg, the New York Police Department now says that it has received from media organizations and elsewhere several letters, but as you say, it is focusing on one. A letter received by the New York Times four days after the bombing provides clues, but no clear indication about who wanted the towers blasted or why. As the World Trade Center gets back to business a month and a weekend after it was bombed, Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly confirms the letter to the Times definitely came from the bombers. It has relevance to the case and it will be used in the prosecution of the uh, people that are in custody. The letter, which included an ambiguous return address scrawled in Arabic, contains a typed explanation for the blast. It says, this action was done in response for the American political, economical, and military support to Israel. It continues with a vague threat to unspecified nuclear targets and claims our army has more than 150 suicidal soldiers. The letter signed Liberation Army 5th Battalion. While investigators believe arrested suspects, including alleged ringleader Mahmoud Abu Halima, are connected to the letter, the FBI remains skeptical that there's a large terrorist army still plotting mayhem in New York. I see no reason to panic at all. We see no indication that there are 150 Confederates out there. As for whether the letter provides a clue to any larger groups, which might be the real bombing masterminds, the bottom line depends on who you ask. But the assumption is that whatever the case and when it you deal with fundamentalism and with Islamic groups, there's always a connection to Iran. The bombing, the uh, cover-up, or the effort to uh, get away, and the letter that has now been received all are of a remarkably amateurish character. It's inconceivable that one or two or three or four individuals could have done this without an infrastructure, without a very large organization behind them. In testimony to Congress shortly after the bombing, FBI Assistant Director Fox said it was a gut feeling of old timers at the FBI that there had to be a larger, well-known organization behind the bombing. But asked again today about those remarks, Assistant Director Fox would say only he would stand by the fact that they have so far arrested five people and are looking for a sixth. We're live at the World Trade Center. Tim Minton, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.